last to talk to you about the human brain, about neuroscience, which is supposed to magically redefine your perception of life. So my straightforward answer is, there is no such thing as instant knowledge that redefines your perception of life. If anybody tells you with their magical stuff that they can teach you how to live life, how to live your life better, pick up your tail and run like hell. Nobody in this world can teach you how to live better. Anybody who tells you that they can is either a fraud or just plain deluded. And your country, India, is filled with these frauds. You know them by, by the name of gurus and swamis and all that. And as for neuroscience, I can't teach you about neuroscience, about the human brain, in a talk that lasts only about a few minutes, any more than I can teach you about quantum mechanics in a few minutes. But since I'm asked, I will give an overview. And if it sparks your curiosity, then you can go ahead and do some research, some actual research of your own. For the time being, forget about the term neuroscience. Instead, Ask yourself, what are you? Who are you? Why are you? These are the questions that we, the scientists in neuroscience and neurobiology and psychology even, attempt to answer. Not with belief, not with faith or opinions. We attempt to answer these questions by actually looking inside the brain of a person by studying your brain activity. Now, some of you may not like what I'm going to say next because you may think it somehow devalues your life. Some of you may think it takes away your individuality because you're too used to the primitive belief of some supernatural soul coming into your body and then leaving it after death. But the fact of the matter is, whatever you think you are, all of it is born in your brain. So long as your brain lives, you live. And different parts of the brain are responsible for different aspects of the thing that you call I. Your emotions, your dreams, your ambitions, your passions, your creativity, your rationality, everything, all of it. Everything that you can think of and everything that you cannot think of about yourself, about the world, about the universe. All of it is born in your brain. Damage any part of the brain and it may change who you are in ways that you cannot even imagine. You feel thirsty, your brain makes you feel so. You drink a glass of your favorite beverage and happy chemicals are released inside your head, in your brain. You meet an old friend and your brain activates old memories along with the sentiments attached to those memories. Everything in your life is a construction of your brain, this brain. Everything you see around, inside, in your mind, whatever you perceive, all of it is actually a virtual representation of your brain. What this means is that your perception is there to ensure self-preservation, not to help you understand truth or create a more inclusive and productive and just society. In short, your entire perception of yourself and of the world is one big active bias. That's why you love to say, Sare Jahasya Chahindustan Amara. 
Despite the fact that there is no such thing as the greatest nation on earth, for every nation has its good and bad. That's where you shout out in Sanskrit, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. But in practice, whenever there's a conflict at the border, it doesn't take you even a second to start blaming Pakistan. You think, Mera Bharat Mahan, Baki Sab Baiman. You think, Mera Soch Badiya, Baki Sab Ghatiya. You know why? Because it makes you feel good about yourself. This is also why there's so much selfishness in the world. There's so much discrimination in the world. There's so much misunderstanding in the world. There's so much inequality in the world. Because these things, these primitive characteristics, come naturally to the human mind. But here's the interesting part. Along with these primitive characteristics, we also have developed the capacity for reasoning. Which, if you practice on purpose to modulate your emotional impulses as a kind of a life habit regularly, then you can slowly learn to overpower those animal instincts within you. The instincts that make you selfish, that make you discriminate, that make you prejudiced, that make you make assumptions. So whenever you feel something or whenever you have an assumption, don't always rush to follow those impulses, those opinions, those beliefs. Because they may be helpful for you temporarily, but in the long run, they do more damage than good. I'm not talking about being logical all the time, but just keep in mind that not all your emotions are human. Many of them are primitive animal emotions. So be aware of your emotions and your thoughts and your opinions and your beliefs so that you're able to recognize the good and the bad and accept the good then throw away the bad. Remember, Life is one big prejudice, unless you question everything, starting with yourself.